Hey guys, welcome to day three of Vlogmas 2021. Today, we are gonna take a look and learn a little bit about this guy right here. This is my alligator snapping turtle. Uh, as you can see, she is not very happy right now. She's trying to bite me. Uh, one good thing about her is I, was, I can handle her fairly safely because uh, unlike the common snapping turtle, Alligator snapping turtles cannot reach around to bite you, so you can hold them literally right on the back of the head here, and they can't bite you. Um, even though they are, they do get much larger, larger than your common snapping turtles. You can see the size of that nice big mouth right there. You can see that red uh, lure in there. That's a uh, lure, and her tongue is used uh, to lure fish in there. They'll just sit at the bottom of the stream or river that they're in wait for a fish to come by who thinks it's a worm and chomp down on them. Uh, these guys are found exclusively in the United States. They range from North Florida all the way out to Eastern Texas uh, and have been found as far north as Iowa. Uh, full grown, these guys, you can expect them to reach <laughs> She is not happy with me right now. Uh, full grown, these guys you can expect to reach 150 plus pounds full grown. Uh, <laughs> uh, their main diet in the wild is going to be fish like we talked about before. They will eat crustaceans, uh, they will eat like crayfish, snails, uh, small vertebrates like uh, any rodents that may that may come across will definitely just take a snack on uh, they'll even snap at birds or any small rabbits or other rodents that may get near them in the wild <laughs> uh, these guys are solitary animals out in the wild uh, they've been known uh, to be able to hold their breath for almost an hour underwater, 40 to 50 minutes, they can hold their breath underwater while they're sitting at the bottom uh, of their river or stream waiting for that next meal to come along. Uh, they will typically become sexually mature and start mating and laying, laying eggs uh, between 11 to 13 years old. Uh, they'll lay their eggs in the spring. The eggs take about 100 to 140 days to hatch uh, and then uh, once they come out these guys lifespan uh, can be anywhere in the wild it ranges anywhere from 20 to 70 years in captivity uh, like most reptiles their lifespan is uh, definitely on the higher end as long as they are kept in adequate conditions and the proper uh, food is given to them the right vitamins and nutrients are given to them because I obviously don't have any predators in captivity. Uh, so as long as they are kept at optimal uh, care, these guys can uh, definitely live as long as you. So uh, as we were talking earlier, you can see the nice big jaw on her. As adults, this animal can actually have a bite force up to a thousand pounds of pressure in that bone. They can snap bone in half uh, when they get to adult size. This, uh, can't, I don't know if it's a girl or boy right now, you usually can't tell the sex of them until they're several years old. Um, but uh, she or he will definitely still give you a pretty nasty bite. You can see how sharp that beak is of theirs. You definitely do not want to get bit by them. She will take a nice little chunk out of your finger, which she wants to do right now. Uh, but like I said, they are a lot easier to handle than your common snapping turtles. Common snapping turtles can actually reach their head about here. They can reach their head halfway uh, back along their shell. Where alligator snapping turtles, actually, even though they like said they're much larger, they don't have that long, long neck that you think of as a snapping turtle. They actually have fairly short necks, uh, so they can't reach out and grab you back here. So you, you can actually hold them right behind their, their head, and they can't turn around by you. Where 
where we, we live in upstate New York, we have common snapping turtles. And if you reach right here on a common snapping turtle, you would probably lose a finger, at least get hurt pretty bad. Because that common snapping turtle can reach right around on the back of the shell right here and take a bite right out of that finger. Uh, this girl right now, she is just in, I keep saying her. Uh, this uh, alligator snapper is just in a 40 gallon breather for the moment. Uh, just being a little one like this. She or he will definitely be upgraded soon, uh, especially when we move into our zoo. Uh, keep you updated on that. As soon as we move into our zoo and get more space, this uh, gorgeous girl little boy is going to get a nice large uh, pond I want to try to mimic its natural habitat as best I can. So I'd actually like to make some sort of riverine large ecosystem for that for it to be in because uh, out in the wild they're not going to really be in ponds and lakes you're going to find them in moving waters they're not going to sit in still stagnant waters uh, they're going to be in rivers and streams uh, along moving wa uh, flowing waters so i'd like to make a nice big uh, river ecosystem for him or her and hopefully get a mate when it gets big enough Although it probably won't be big enough to breed for at least another 10 years. Uh, so this is our alligator stopping turtle. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down below. Uh, let us know what you think. Again, check us out on our social media, uh, Facebook at Reptile Haven Wildlife Center. Check us out over on Instagram at the Reptile Haven underscore Wildlife Center. You can check us out over in Patreon, uh, where you can get a bunch of exclusive content from us. Uh, content that you won't get anywhere else. You can get early access to some videos on here, uh, and a bunch of other cool merch stuff that we have over there. Check us out on Patreon at the Reptile Haven Wildlife Center. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.